Okay. So now you're in September. In September. So we sat for 10 days. Okay. We had a window of five days. Right. And because the uh, Germans were disorganized, but they were masters of reorganizing. Right. So we knew that if we, if these were perfect tank days, right. and they were being wasted. Wow. So uh, the Germans did what they were supposed to do, they reorganized. Right. So after sitting 10 days, we moved out. And our first, uh, next option was the Moselle River. Right. And the Germans were already defending. Now we had to fight again. Oh, boy. So okay. And, uh, yeah. And so it's fine. Uh, they were they ultimately were. Uh, on September, the uh, turning point on September 10th. Uh, Montgomery sold Eisenhower right. on an operation called Market Garden. Yeah. Have you ever heard of Market? Garden? Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. Uh, on, on, and that, all that was portrayed in the, uh, huh? the History Channel. Yes. Yeah. I've seen all it. All okay. The went to Montgomery. Right. Market Garden. Market Garden was a disaster. Okay. But as a result of that, there was a famine of supplies. Ah. So, so ultimately, Patton sat, we, right. Patton was the greatest offensive weapon we had. We right. sat for four weeks, and the rains came, and the sleet and snow came, and we didn't resume our attack until November. Oh, really? See, after we got across the Moselle River, right. we had some gasoline, because Eisenhower, uh, uh, Montgomery wanted everything. Right. But uh, Eisenhower said, if I give him everything, I can't answer the American people. We're going to wonder, why did I stop coal? Right. So he gave a little more gas. Ah. We went forward for a while. We had uh, a major tank battle place called Aracourt, and then no more gasoline. And we went into defensive positions. And we sat for four weeks while the horrendous weather came. And we resumed our attack in November. Uh, Right. What we did in August was uh, impossible, just the opposite. We had a one tank front because the tank, the mud was so bad that the tanks couldn't leave the road, had to stay on the road. Right. And the Germans had uh, been there for four weeks preparing the defenses, right. and uh, they controlled the roads, blew the roads, right. put, uh, put mines in the roads. Right. So, oh, is that right? So and Doobie so trapped November everything. Horrendous. Okay, so then, so then November becomes December. When does the Battle of all? Like, All right. when, when do things start happening with the Germans counterattack? Right. Uh, we kept slugging, 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 slugging. We finally got to a place called uh, Singling, which is eight miles from the German border. Right. This is in December, December 6th. Right. And we were stopped. My division was stopped. And they finally said, it's time for you to get a rest. We'd gone four to five weeks with a hot meal, four to five weeks with a moment of uh, maintenance for our tent. Right. So we went back into a uh, rest area so we could uh, rejuvenate the tanks, the right. guns, and the uh, individual soldiers. Okay. And it was while we were doing that that the bulge broke down. Okay, so when did that happen? When did the bulge start? The bulge started December 16th. Okay. And, and we're in Lorraine, France. Okay. And okay. so two days later, Patton turned his third army 90 degrees. We were attacking, we had the uh, mission of attacking across the border into the Saar to our directly east. Right. Now he turned his army 90 degrees north. Okay. My battalion led Patton's third army on a 161 mile advance to uh, to Belgium into Bastogne. Okay, really? Yeah. So now where is Chamont versus Chamont is about seven or eight kilometers south of Bastogne. Okay. And this uh, is I was I was uh, I, I would have been in Bastogne except a bridge was Blown. Right. And by the time uh, this was a bridge that we had to bridge because the current was so fast and so wide, tanks could not afford it. Right. And because of that bridge, the Germans have brought their uh, forces in and they counterattacked me on, show, on, on December 23rd at Chomon. That was really okay. Good. And this is this is the story which I read where you had the, you had the three companies. Two flanking, and you went up yeah. the, in the middle. No, I had a company on the left. Right. You could bog down of all things in this uh, uh, company in the center, a company on the right. Right. A B company down, and uh, we uh, and captured Chaumont. Right. And we started turning to go to a place called Grand Rue when we received this counterattack. Ah, this is when late and, in the afternoon. And those were artillery pieces that were yeah, counterattacking. Yeah, artillery, tanks, uh, self propelled, but they had four. Eight, a, a platoon of four. Uh, this is a fascinating story. Mm -hmm. Four German tanks, the Tiger Jaegers with 128 millimeter gun.
Right. And they did most of the damage. Ah, uh -huh. so, okay. But we, now you were... Can I know, just a I'm sorry. No, you were explaining No, by this time, time I was the battalion commander. I assumed commander on the 2nd of December. Remember I told you, I was a, a, so as a major commanding right. the battalion. Right. Yeah, on this, uh, uh, going up In August. Board. In August. So now you're the battalion commander. Yeah, I, I assumed commander December 2nd. Did that include December. an increase in rank? Yeah. Huh? It in did three weeks later. And what at happened? At that point, I was a major still, right. only the best tool. Okay, and then what happened? You were uh, lieutenant colonel after that? Yeah, I was promoted on board. Okay. So I was promoted January 22nd to lieutenant colonel. I got a battlefield promotion to lieutenant colonel. Okay, so when you were in command taking this. Uh, Ma major. Uh, you were a major. But a battalion commander. Okay, but how did you get out of Chamont with all of this well, we, uh, artillery we, pounded after, on you? After we uh, received a counterattack, a bunch of professionals. This could have been the chaos. Right. We reorganized, came back the next day, right. and we uh, and it, got, it, it was dark, so they the Germans didn't follow the attack. So we held a ridge on uh, the uh, southern part of Chaumont. Right. And uh, my my combat, combat commander told me to sit tight right. for the 24th. That night I was reinforced by a battalion of infantry from uh, the 80th Division. Right. And on the 26th I uh, captured Chaumont again, finally. Right. But so uh, we, we captured it, but we were repulsed, but we captured it on the 26th. Okay. And uh, then we could right. run up and, and broke into uh, the 101st. Now, did you go all the way to Baston at one point? Yeah. So after you got through Chamont, yeah. then you went into Baston. And we met the 101st up there. And you, uh, and, and now, were you the first guys there? No, no. Uh, see, uh, because of the counterattack, uh, right. I, I had 13 tanks left in my battalion. Out of, so out I, of, I, how, I had, out of how many? Well, at full strength, 76. Holy but cow. No, that included, uh, uh, I had three tanks, three times 17. Uh, right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, three times. Because I had one, one company of light tanks. But I'm talking about, I had 13 medium tanks. Left. Okay. Okay. So they had, uh, and so they were reinforced with the infantry. Right. And the uh, reserve command had been over here with, uh, they were fighting in Luxembourg. They brought them around to my left. Right. They were the ones that made the initial contact. Oh, I see. Okay. But you allowed, you freed them up to do that because they were all concentrating oh, yeah. we on you. Until, uh, but we, the, uh, we kept get closing in and we were only uh, seven or eight kilometers away and uh, the others were echelon to the right. So they hit, I was the nose. Right. Now